can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes! Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. No trespassing? No way. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. An old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid. But you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an Second door inside. So close, and yet so far. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. has collected a lot of junk over the years. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yep. It's, uh... Pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime?
Aww. Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense! <laughs> Shit! Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. <laughs> Just follow the lights and the sound. I can't wait to get in there and thrash. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. Don't mess with Damon. Thanks for the memo. Is that guy selling merch? Wish I had some cash. Hey, are you selling 20 any- 20 bucks. What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive, dick. That shirt is rad. Yeah, no shit. This car could slide down any minute. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. It's not gonna take any more than an hour to do it. If you don't have 20 bucks, beat it. Still a dick. Those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Yo, Frank. Hey. Chloe. I know your name, you idiot. You 
bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that get up. <laughs> Studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, the internet. How else? Seriously? Fuck it, kids. I'll see you later. Whatever. into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer. I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some man. I'm serious. You wanna see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. It won't. She thinks she can take you? Rachel?
Girls in the Light of the Glowy Bear. I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Better living through chemistry. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Uh, I really should get going. Next up, a special present for all our Shit. Where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with mom's. Okay. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Your boyfriend's an asshole! He's been good for me. Maybe he rubs you the wrong way because you've been rude. He's still breathing. That means I've been more than fair. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice. 
You will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Come on, sweetheart. I'm sure David's waiting for his keys. Wow. Why do this is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Here they are. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. They better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe 90-10. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. A little more hustle.
Russell wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe, hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. Thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Country music. <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just call tell you that I miss you. What a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does, jerk thought. This, this isn't right. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up.
the hell? Out of the car, Chloe. You're gonna be late. Whatever. You're welcome. Hello, Black Hell. Hey, Chloe. Oh, hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. Who exactly is talking shit about me? You know, haters on social media. Great. I wish I could tell everyone to just get a life. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you wanna go together tomorrow? Mm. No way. I'd rather have my eyes gouged out with rusted forks. Yeah, right. Me too, I guess. All right. See you in cam. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've... got here? Twitch. Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone! You know something, Prescott? I'm gonna do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you! You guys, stop! Chloe, do something! Don't just stand there watching! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Back off? As in, go away? No one's interested in your crap. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. 
You're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. What's crazy is that you haven't been held back yet. How is that possible? You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? You're clearly into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat! You shut the fuck up! Go Samantha. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? You're welcome. Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD? One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you. Chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues... 
Hath I listened to- Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't... Rachel looks so happy here. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Here you go. Ow, <laughs> I didn't say attack me with it. Shit, sorry. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber? Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still.
This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Sure, you don't want to just grab the bus or nope if we're gonna go rogue we're doing it right well what the hell am i getting into here Share price. The view's amazing. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit. All right, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Is this nervousness? Is that what this feeling is? Wish Max were here so I could ask. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? It's nice weather we're having. What? The, the weather? It's nice. It sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Ah. Uh, if you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Good to fucking go. Anything beats another second in Blackwell. You really hate it there, don't you? You don't? <laughs> right. What reason would Rachel Amber have for hating Blackwell Academy? Your high school royalty. You don't know me. Yet. Let's do something fun. Okay, I'm listening. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, 
and one of which is a lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl than me. Damn, Price. Not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so nothing to compare it to, I guess. Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact. Right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas. Buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. So, pirate. Obviously true. Maybe you'd like to be my first mate. Oh, are you accepting applications? Considering it. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times, and I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. He was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. 
Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year. <laughs> Definitely. So, if my math is correct, you told me two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. No, I mean you're really good at this game. It's kind of creepy. I have a hard time imagining what creeps Chloe Price out. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first, embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game. And not everyone would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit, but I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Wanna listen?
Stop sextanting the interns. Uh, I'm thinking about prying open that viewfinder. Got a knife on you? A knife? Yeah. My mom took mine. Uh, no. How about a nail file? I guess you could stab someone with a nail file. Oh, right. Sh sure, let's try it. It always looks so easy in the movies. I wonder if I can find something sturdier to use. Stealing a dedication plate takes persistence. <laughs> Got power activate. I win. That was enough of a game for me. Your MacGyver skills are second to none. Except, probably, MacGyver. Rachel smells like... Jasmine? Is she smelling me right now, too? Really should have showered this morning. All right, here's the game. You find some people for us to spy on, and then you and I will act out what they're saying and thinking. That's it? I do that in my head during, like, every class. See? You're a natural. Let's give it a try. Hey, what do you say we barbecue some squirrels when we're done here? God, you just have the best ideas. Hmm, what's going on with these two? If you want lunch, you're going to have to learn how to skin your own food like a man. But I don't know how to skin a bald eagle, Dad. You don't? What the <laughs> hell are they teaching you in school? Wow, that was dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Loving this guy. What's he thinking right now? No matter how fast I go, I'll never outwalk this wedgie. That's so tragic. 
but also beautiful in its own way. <laughs> All right, let's see. After this, I want to come home and listen to my Spotify playlist. Is it the kind of listening where you have to get under the covers to really appreciate the music? Yes, and clothes really mess with the acoustics, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Who's next? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to hog the viewfinder. Ooh, jackpot. Commence makeout session in three, two, one. Nailed it. Damn, they are really going at it. Oh, honey. I think we used the vibrating bed for too long. I'm totally seeing double. <laughs> Rachel? Hey, are you all right? What are we doing? Excuse me? Last I checked, you're supposed to be Chloe Price. Yet we've been ditching now for hours and we haven't even gotten wasted yet. That's got to be against some school ditching rule. Uh, hell yeah. The honor student wants to show the school delinquent how to party? Be my guest. How gracious of you. They have a bottle of wine. Let's steal it. Uh, okay. Or we could go try to find a liquor store instead? No. You shouldn't bring alcohol to a public park if you're not willing to share it with everybody, right? And... Fuck it. I just want to take something that's not mine. All right. I'm going in. Try to keep up. Um, can we help you? <sighs> oh my god! Holy shit! Talk about committing to a performance. Better act fast. Oh, thank god! Please, this girl is in trouble! Go get help! I need to get these two to focus on Rachel so I can swipe the wine. What are you waiting for? Go! Don't look at me! Look at Baywatch over here! Aw, uh, I don't remember how to do CPR. What? It's time to nut up or shut up! Watch out! I'm going to check her pulse. That's on her neck, right? I still think you should go get help. There's a ranger station on the other side of the park. Good point. We'll keep watch while you go. Oh, shit! That, that sounds like rabies to me. Rabies? 
Yep, definitely rabies. Better pay close attention to make sure she doesn't try to bite you. Okay, okay. You can do this. I can't do it. Pathetic. Look, he's clearly useless. This woman needs help from someone who actually knows what they're doing. Hey, look at me. Do you want to be locked out of the car of life forever? Or are you ready to break in there and seize the keys to your potential? Oh my god. You're right. Hey, wow. I'm all better now. You saved my life from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Yeah, good work, everyone. Peace out. That was incredible. You're a hero. Huh. I guess I am. Here, you earn this. Thanks. <laughs> I could use a drink after trying to keep up with you. I am excessively sober right now. Right. Okay. Guess we're leaving now. Oh, hey, check this out. What? Great. It's a pile of trash. Uh, yeah. An awesome pile of trash. Let's explore. You have fun, Chloe. I'm gonna go sit down. Rachel's been acting kind of standoffish ever since we left the park. What's her deal? I've heard that actors are moody, but wow, Rachel. I'm not moody. I just need some space. Is that all right with you? Okay. Actually, no. I thought we were having a great day together. Why are you acting like this all of a sudden? I'm not acting like anything. I just want to be left alone right now. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I know I'm not the easiest person to be around. I don't exactly have tons of experience with the whole friendship thing. Not everything revolves around you, Chloe. I didn't say it did. I'm just saying I understand. No, you really don't. Fuck! <laughs> uh... Okay, I still have no idea what's going on with Rachel, but... Apparently, she gets smashy when she's angry. 
I can work with that. Score. Hey, check it out. I don't always drink beer. But when I do, I prefer drinking it next to an old toilet. Home run! Can I see? Sure. I asked you to leave me alone. Are you kidding me? I, I know you're the school princess and all, with the DA daddy and the perfect grades and all the perfect little Victoria chases kissing your perfect ass, but seriously, fuck you. Great. I'm leaving. See you around, Chloe. You can't leave! Watch me. Rachel, wait! Don't go! Why not? Because, because I don't want to ruin this the way I ruin everything else in my life. And what is this exactly? I mean, fuck, are you actually going to make me say it? Say what? You know, like, a friendship, but more. Ah. I know. Weird, right? It's just... Today was the best day I've had since... Since my dad died. And when I almost ruined it just now, the way I ruin everything, it made me realize... Whatever's going on between us is special. Come on. Say something. Chloe, I... I... You know what? Forget it. This was really stupid. I mean, you're Rachel Amber, and I'm Chloe Price. It's not that. It's just hard right now. And I can't talk about it. Why not? Because I can't. I know it isn't fair, but it's how it is. Goodbye, Chloe. Fuck this place. You know she's fake. Y you can't take your eyes off her. Who else do I know who fits that description? Ah! Fuck off, Rachel. Ah! I've never understood your heart on her cameras, Max. You took a million pictures of us, and not one of them showed that you were gonna leave when I needed you most. Fuck cameras. If you want to rip a family apart from the inside, it's important to bring the proper tools. Fuck you, David.
Jahat. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. Hey, where's my marker? I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. There it is. Sometimes, people need you, though. Even when they don't admit it.
You came. I'm glad. Are you sure about that? I got kind of a different message this afternoon. Yeah. Chloe, I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. <laughs> So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought, I thought I could catch him or something. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed? It's silly. I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. No one's ever safe. Yeah. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Courage? I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. And maybe a slight buzz from that wine. I just want you to know... I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a knee to the balls. Only because you showed up at the last minute and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan, you got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... 
fuck your dad. Fuck him. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags... I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. Can I borrow your lighter? Thank you. Come on.